Carolyn Doobie here, and today I'm playing with some dice. These dice you might recognize from a recent issue of Cloth, Paper, Scissors. In that article, I explain how I came up with the idea, how I use them, what goes on the sides, those kinds of things. But today, what you're going to see in this video is an art journal page that I made using those dice. So these are the six things I have to use. Photo slide mount, I have to draw a grid, I have to use Dresden, which is like a pressed foil thing, no rubber stamps, I need to use a napkin, and I need to use some vintage ephemera. So here's the page I made with those rules. I started on this yellow page from who knows when in my art journal. It scraps from something. I've got the grid done, did that with an intense pencil. So that's one thing off the list of things I have to include in this art journal page. Cool thing about intense pencils is when you get them wet, they get kind of runny and the color changes a bit. So I'm going to draw some more grids. Didn't say how many grids, just grids. So I'm going to do that. Here comes the napkin. I'm going to peel it apart. There are layers to these things. So I'm just going to give it a pull until I've got just the colored decorative part. When I glue a napkin down, napkins are very thin and they tear very easily. So I want a thinner watery glue. I happen to have some uh, matte medium that I'm going to use, but any of the watered down or, or I should say runny glues will work quite well with this. Now, one of the tricky parts though, is when you get a napkin wet, there's a chance that it will rip and tear. And guess what? That's going to be okay because you know what? It's not like I have a big plan here. So I'm going to put some of that matte medium down. I'm spreading it around with one of those catalyst mini blades. And I love those because I don't have to clean them. And I'm going to put this up here. And the more I fiddle and work with a wet napkin and pull on it, things start to tear. And I kind of liked how that looked. So I decided I'd tear it some more. Interestingly enough, the bottom one decided it wasn't going to tear. <laughs> Imagine that. All right, so now I want to do the vintage ephemera. These are some old bus tickets from somewhere in England that I bought off eBay, and I bought a huge roll of them, so I've got tons of them. And I'm going to do some in orange and some in blue, and what I'm doing is just using the dregs of my bottles of paint there and putting a wash on top of them. I don't know which color I'm going to use, but as long as I'm doing this, I might as well use multiple co make multiple colors, right? Why waste my time? And it gives me more options when I decide what I want to do. So here's the page. I probably should let them draw dry, but no, I'm just going to use them as they are. Immediately went for the blue ones, and now I'm just kind of moving them around and seeing if I like how they look. And no, I don't like how any of them look. Well, I didn't like how those vintage tickets were looking, so I'm going to move on to the slide mounts. I've got a whole big box of these things that I haven't used, so I am all good with painting up a whole bunch of these. No idea if I'm going to use them all or not, but I like yellow, so I'll use them somewhere. I've got them completely covered in acrylic paint. And now what I'm going to do is wait patiently for them to dry. Nope, not going to do that. I'm doing this while they're wet. That means there might be smudges, there might be smears, there might be imperfections. And I don't care because I'm just playing in my art journal. Now that I've got them all cut, now it's time to see how they look on the actual art journal page. And as I move these around and test them out, I'm finally starting to get a feeling or a direction or a way that this page seems to want to go. It's taken a while, but I'm finally getting some direction. Well, I stole these three silhouettes from another project I was working on <laughs> and decided to use them here because I just sort of felt the feeling that I was getting with this art journal page. And so now I'm trying to work in all of the elements that I have to. I need to work in that vintage ephemera, so I'm going to try and use those tickets. I've got the Dresden, which is the pressed foil embellishment kind of things, and I've got these suns. And so I'm trying to figure out how I want to use those. And this is just a game of test and move, see if I like it. Put this here, put that there, see what feels right. This is some good old gel medium that I'm using to put everything down with. Now something flat, like the silhouettes that I cut out, those are easy to stick down. But the slide mounts, well, since this isn't a perfectly flat art journal because I have a bunch of stuff in it, the slide mounts are really having a hard time sticking. And if I bothered to get out my super heavy gel medium, they would hold it down a lot better. But I've decided I'm just going to make it work this way. So that's why you may see me really pushing down on things or adding a bit of extra gel medium to make it all stick. Once it's all dry, it will all stay where it's supposed to. But it just kind of seems to be popping up. So what I'm going to do is put a piece of deli paper down and then put some heavy containers on it to keep it flat while it does part of the initial drying. So on there I have my grid, I have my napkin, I have my Dresden, I have my slide mounts, and I have not used any rubber stamps on here. 
But that doesn't mean I can just limit it to those things. I can add more stuff too, like these liquid pearls to give me some sort of raised texture and dots happening here. And it feels really good to use those liquid pearls because I've had them a while and have not used them in quite a while. Well, thanks for joining me for this video in Art Journal Play. If you've been having fun and enjoyed it, I'd love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can see more of my videos. And if you've got a friend that you think would enjoy this, I'd love it if you'd share it with them. Now that scribbling and journaling that I'm doing there has been with an Inktense pencil. Nice thing about that is it reacts to water. And you're going to see why here in just a moment because I'm going to make a line around one of the silhouettes to try and add a little something to her and I'm not going to like it at all. The benefit of that is I can just take a Q-tip with some water on it and wipe that up. And I'm going to call this art journal page finished. Thanks for being a part of this colorful journey.